Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Today, I do not have a whole lot of stuff to show you. What I did get is quality. <laughs> it's good stuff. And I was hoping, I was supposed to get something today from FedEx. And I don't know if it's going to be here. I've kind of just been taking my time, hoping it would get here. And so far, it hasn't. First so. of all, I don't want to forget to show you this. Colleen has come out with a new candle. You've probably see it, seen it on her website if you get her... Um, emails and I know Tammy had it on her Instagram but it is a new fine artisan candle and the name is pronounced it's R-O-I-S-I-N I don't know if you can see because it's that cool black on black but it's pronounced Roisin <laughs> and um, the name Roisin became a poetic symbol for love in the 16th century beckoning the Roisin's Celtic heritage what comes to mind is a sense of the highlands, wide open expanses of lush green fields with roses growing wild underneath the warmth of an August sun. Doesn't that sound wonderful? I cannot wait till I'm under the warmth of a June <laughs> sun. Okay, and here comes our girl. Hey baby. So, um, the scent. When I, she sent this to me early. She sent it to me when you guys saw me get her skincare. And so she said, I'm sending you a candle that's gonna release for Valentine's Day. Let me know what you think. And the first thing I thought when I smelled it is, I told her, I texted her, I said it just beautiful, like a beautiful flower, a beautiful woman. It is not overpowering if you don't like rose. Don't think that it's gonna smell just like straight roses. Um, it says, Roisin opens with a gentle mist of dewdrops and a bright sparkling bergamot. In the heart, a rain-soaked earth surrounds an armful of wild cut, or wild fresh cut roses, gently spiced hints of cloves, clove, sorry, between my Invisalign and her, spiced hints of clove contrast the floral bouquet while the cashmere musk base embraces velvety notes of sweet vanilla. Okay, so this is the important part here. The top note is fresh dew drops, <laughs> bergamot and clove. So that tells you right there that it's not an in-your-face rose scent. The middle is earthy rose and ylang ylang. The base is cashmere musk and vanilla. So it's got that, it's definitely not like a spa scent like her other, the, um, I can't remember how to pronounce that, the H, the H one. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to try to, but her other candle. This one is definitely and I've been burning it at my desk because I put her other one down here and it just smells beautiful. I mean, like if you had flowers, but not that type of, some flowers I can't stand, like if there's lilies or something in my bouquet, I can't stand it, it irritates my sinuses. And, um, but um, just a beautiful, I don't know how to describe it. Just like a beautiful bouquet or anything pretty is how it smells to me. Very soft, but yet it has that little bit of that bergamot and the musk and the vanilla that makes it not have a sharp smell. It's more of like a creamy smell. You've just got me here, don't you? You've got me. So anyway, thank you, Colleen, for sending that to me. And I have thoroughly enjoyed her candles. They last forever. I mean, you can just burn them and burn them and burn them and they last forever. I think it's like, um, here it is. Made in the USA, eight ounces or 240 grams. grams. Burn time, 50 hours. Um, hand poured, small batches, uh, custom soy blend wax, lead-free cotton wick. If you go on her website, you can find what goes into the fine artisan candle, what makes some candles better than others. Um, or just, you know what I mean. So, that is, I love it. It just, I'm trying to think of what perfume I can relate it to. And right off the bat, you know what I'm thinking of? Yesterday I wore that C with the, um, the Giorgio Armani C S I with the rose in it. And that's what it's reminded me of. So if you like that, then you would definitely like this. Okay, just, and oh, I wanted to show you, Chanel's fur everywhere, the, um, tools that we got from her. I say we because Brooke uses them too. But um, so that is the snuffer to snuff out the flame. And I've really used this one to clip the wick. 
so pretty and they just look so pretty just sitting there and I know she does have like bundles on her website okay. then Michelle um, I'm trying to think makeup MLC she works at Neiman Marcus and when I mentioned running into Belks for the did I leave that other one here I've left one in my room hold on okay so when I mentioned the Chanel lip pencils my Belk had not gotten them in yet although they called me yesterday and they've got them in so I might go look at the other colors maybe the darker ones she was nice enough to swatch them for me and send me a text I picked number one nude I picked um, number two, Rose uh, Violin, and then number nine, I believe, which is Beige Rose. And they are all of the more nudie colors. Of course, the Beige Rose, is it or is it number two? No, number two, Rose Violin, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, um, has the most color. And I have some swatches that I will put right here that I took earlier that maybe you'll be able to see better than if I were to swatch them right here. So today I have on the number one nude with the Laura Mercier Hazelnut Tea Lip Liner, and I love it. Now, if you don't put on lip liners with these, you can still get a good lip. It's just they do not have as much oomph they're more like a like if you were going to the gym or something they're very glossy i think i noticed that number one was glossier than the others you'll be able to see in the swatch that i took but um, i've worn all of them now i wore them <laughs> all of them yesterday just a little bit and love them now they are you know chanel so they're a little bit more pricey oh god i saw smile i was hoping it was fedex but um, anyway, and I love, I, yesterday I wore them. First I started out with them by themselves and then I ended up adding Ideal, Lancome Ideal. And then today I thought about hazelnut tea and was wondering how that would look and I love it. This is a good lip liner. Okay, and then while I was ordering from her, I went ahead and ordered this, which is the La Mer Lip Balm. And I've been loving it. But it is very different than the Estee Lauder. It's definitely a lighter, um, the lip balm, the Estee Lauder is a balm. So it, I feel like it coats my lips and it's a little, I hate to say waxier, but it is. It's a little bit waxier feeling and I can layer things over it a little better. It almost smooths out. This is very fluid you know and it oh, it feels so good the smell is like nothing else it's that minty just a fresh minty smell it's awesome so i've been using them both i have been using this one at night and sometimes in the morning like if i'm not going to put something on but if i'm going to put something on i can't layer over this it's just too it's, this is more like a, I don't know, I hate to say like a treatment, but anyway, I love them both. <laughs> so that is the La Mer, and it is worth the price. If you have been wondering and wondering about it and you hated to spend the money, if you get a little extra and you want to just treat yourself, I promise you will like it. It's um, another thing that I bought this week, and it was half price because... Ulta has been having that skincare, like the 24 days of skincare or something like that. And every day something was half off. I'm not sure if it's over, it might be. But one day they had this on sale and I just love this Exuviance brand. Oh, correction, they are not made by Obagi. Someone corrected me and when I really thought back to what Amanda said, what she said was, if you like Obagi, then you might like Exuviance because it's also, I think it's made by Neostrata. Don't hold me to that, but it's made by another big skincare company that is um, like a med spa grade, but it's not made by Obagi. I think she just said, since I like Obagi, I would like this, and I really do. Um, this is just a day repair sunscreen it firms, targets uneven pigment, and fights free radical damage. It's kind of like an all-in-one. It doesn't have, I don't know if it has the vitamin C. It doesn't, you know, claim to be a vitamin C. But um, I have worn it several times. I bought it last weekend, and I love it. What I wanted to ask you guys today is I've been, you know, cleansing, toning, um, doing my Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum, which I love, and then, you know, I'll wait a little bit. If I put something like this on, the only thing, it makes my skin so um, moisturized that I feel like my makeup 
slips off, but then I feel like it's weird to layer primer over this. So what do you guys do? Do you just use this as your primer and use less or wait for it to sink in more? Let me know what you do, because I've been, you know, sometimes I've even put this on and then gone somewhere and then come back and then put my makeup on, like taking the kids to school or something. So, but um, I was looking at this and this girl walked right by me and just grabbed it and kept on walking. Like she knew she liked it so much, she just got it. This is something I bought and I've already used this and told you guys how much I like it, but it is the Pure Dirty Girl. I love that name. Detoxifying Mud Mask with Pascalite or Pascalite Clay. This is the best mask. Like This puts Glam Glow to shame, in my opinion. I mean, it is just like the best mud mask. It says, apply mask liberally to clean and treat for five to 20 minutes. Rinse thoroughly with warm water. Uh, key ingredients, the calcium, um, bentonite, unclogs pores, and eliminates impurities. Cucumber extract, soothes and calms the skin's appearance. Salicylic acid, gently exfoliates and renews. This thing is no joke. It, when you put it on, it's, like I said, the prettiest color. It's kind of like groundwork paint pot. And you put it on and then when it dries, you feel it like tightening and tightening. And then you feel like the salicylic acid in it a little bit. And Melissa that works at Ulta says she also uses it as spot treatments. And I was noticing my grubby little hands right here, or Brooks. Brooke loves this too. And Brooke said she like, or uh, Melissa said she likes to spot treat with it. And I have got an angry bump coming up right here. It is so big and it, it even itches. It is just one that is going to just teach me a lesson. <laughs> And um, so I put this on it last night and I swear I think it helped it by this morning. It was like less red, less angry. So um, I really, really like this. I have used it, I think three times. Brooke has used it twice because they gave me a sample first and I've even used it on Will. And um, th the reason I even heard, of, you know, found out about this was Amanda that works there, so she can't go without it. So I really, I think this would be my skincare star of the week. I really and then I think, okay, then I've got this. I kind of figured I would turn this into just like a favorites and um, haul video. This is something I bought weeks ago, probably three or four weeks ago, and I have loved it. It's the Living Proof, Proof Full Dry Volume Blast, Instant Lasting Volume and Texture, Styling and Finishing Spray. This is what I've been using if I want like that extra, you know, oomph. It's kind of like um, hairspray and dry shampoo all in one. And it does make your hair a little, um, like you can smell it a little bit and you can feel it a little bit, but it's right there with like the Bumble and Bumble spray that they have or the or Orbe um, And it just it works so much better to me I would rather use something like this than use something in my hair wet because then I can kind of style it just like I want and brush it out But um, I really like it and then this is something I put on this morning and I thought so many of you have asked me And I don't know if I've answered you because I didn't know exactly what it was called but I put it on this morning because I've got one of those little bumps beside my nose. It's from the perioral dermatitis. I think that's what it's from. And I think what's happening is I've been using the, a lot of oils on my face lately at night because I've been watching videos and I've been using just different oils. And I think my face is saying, wait a minute, that's too much on your face at night. So I'm gonna cut back on that. But that's, that's part of it. It's just, you know, trial and error. But um, this is um, the sulfur cream that has helped me. It's called, anyway, it's the S, I'll put the name down below. S-U-L-F-A-C-E-T-A-M-I-D-E -S sulfur. 10, dash 2% cream. Apply twice daily to affected area. And it really helps. Sulfur cream, sulfur in general is such a healing, you know, element. It's just, it just helps so much. I can remember my mom using it on, um, we've always had cats and dogs and I can remember using sulfur cream like if they had a owie or something. And I think that is it. The only clothes I got this week is this top and it's, you guys have seen these tops. It's the getting back to square one. And I love them, and they just got this one in, in the gray. I've got it in the black and the cream, and I just love these. It's like the perfect, I think, mature 
off the shoulder top because it doesn't come you know like this it still gives you plenty of coverage but you still get that like bardo neckline and this is a new necklace from sheila i actually made a video yesterday telling you several things that i had forgotten to tell you and showing you sheila's new designs and um so i'll post that this weekend i have edited it but i haven't had a chance to post it and put all the information in there yet but, um, and then these are her, some of her new hoops. I don't have them in the gunmetal, but I like to mix the gunmetal and silver. So, um, and then my nails are, I told you all about my nails yesterday in the video, so I won't go over that again, but this is OPI, um, don't bossa nova me around. So I'm gonna be right back with my outfit of the day. Okay, so today I have on my, I really only need these one pair of jeans, <laughs> maybe two pair, maybe the ones with the holes too, but this is my Corey. Um, Corey by Citizens of Humanity, my Below the Belt belt, and one good thing about um, Summer Body 2017 starts on Monday, and so I've still got my uh, winter and holiday tummy here, but this top does um, help you. It has plenty of room. You could tuck it in. It look awesome with some high-waisted pants, and um, so this Oh, and you can see my shoes. And I just put on my some of my favorite pumps. These and the Stuart Weitzman are my favorite. These are the Kate Spade, and they are um, called Licorice. And this color, I'm not sure it's available anymore, but it was aluminum. I'll see if I can find any more. And today it's kind of cold, so I'll probably put on just like my leather jacket. And this is it. Okay, so I have that light on. I thought I would close in a little bit more so you could see the necklace and see the lip and everything else. And um, have a good weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.